going to be making a top down round neck sweater. So I am using number three yarn. This is a bamboo blend and I am using number six long circular needles. So in order to know how many stitches I need to start with, I measured around my head or anyone's head whoever you are making the sweater for. So around my neck I measured 22 inches. So I made my swatch and I know for sure that 24 stitches gives me 4 inches. And in order to have 22 inches, how many stitches do I need? So I multiply 24 by 22 and I divided it by 4 and that gives me 132 stitches. So that's what I need in order to go around my neck. It has to go through my head. So the next thing I need to know is how I'm going to be dividing the stitches for around the neck and I am going to place the add-ons. This is going to be called the add-ons. That is where you're going to be adding your stitches. So I now know that I need 132 stitches and I need to divide the 132 by 3. That means one third for the back, one third for the front, and the other third is going to be divided by these two sides which are going to be the sleeves. So now I know that I need 44 for the back, 44 for the front, 22 for one sleeve, and 22 for the other sleeve. Now as you see the numbers, we now know that we around is 132, but we want to eliminate this part because I want to have a round neck. So what I have here is I have 44 for the back, 22 for one sleeve, 22 for the other sleeve, 4 which is going to be the center stitch for the add-ons, and 2 for each one for each side of the front. We're going to be adding stitches here and here. So I am using either straight stitch, straight needles or double pointed but I'm going to be knitting one row knit, one row purl. So therefore I have 94 stitches that are the ones that are going to go around here and let's do that. So on the first row you're going to knit one row and purl one row and then you're going to start your add-ons. So the first stitch you knit front and back and then you do your add-ons here, add-ons here, add-ons here and add-ons here. Now the way you do that is that, let me get this a little bit closer, there we go. So the first stitch, which is the one that goes in the front of the neck, you're going to do knit front, oops, let me get this one again, knit front and back of that first stitch 
and this is the section of the add-ons you're going to knit front and back and that will be your middle stitch which you will knit and then front and back after so you have front and back front and back and the middle stitch is going to be in between those two add-ons and then you continue on to your next add-on and then at the end you're going to be also knitting front and back of the last stitch so let's make believe I already did all the add-ons and the last stitch you are going to also knit front and back because that is the one that you're going to be adding for the other side of the neck okay and then on the wrong side it's only pearls and you don't add anything so what I did here is that the last round was knit front and back and then knit 20 and I added and then I knitted the 39 added knitted 62 added knitted the 39 added and then knitted the 20 and then front and back so now I want to have in the front in order to close it the same amount of stitches as I have in the back so I'm going to add stitches here in order to connect them and I'll show you how so now I need to add my stitches to connect the sides and you remember that I have 20 plus the 2 for the edge on one side 20 and the 2 for the edge on the other side so that means that in order to have the 62 the same as in the back I need to add 18 stitches in the middle and so like that I have my 62 in the front also so I am going to add like this I'm going to pick up with my thumb and add one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen and 18 so now I'm going to continue knitting and something that's very important since I'm knitting only on the right side because I'm knitting on in, on, in the round so uh, we need to do one row without adding stitches and one row adding stitches because when you were purling you were not adding and since we are only knitting we're going to alternate the rows one you add one row you add and one row you you don't so on this row we will not so now you continue knitting and keep adding on your add-ons every other row and I will see you when I have a few rows here okay so I'm finishing my first round in which I did not add stitches and I'm going to you can if you wish you can place a marker there just so you remember where your round starts and then you can continue 
knitting so be careful when you knit these don't pull at the yarn because you don't want the stitches to become loopy okay so now it's a matter of continuing and you go into your pin you knit front and back on the one before knit that one knit front and back on the next one and then you continue and remember that you keep adding two stitches on each section and I will see you when I have almost almost reaching as wide as I want it 